If you want to be a character designer, if you want to draw eyes, if you want to get people connected to your characters, you're in the right place. Roll it. All right, so one quick easy way to practice drawing eyes. Now, I love drawing snails, and snails are a really great way to practice drawing eyes because you have the snail here, you would have the shell here. You don't have to do all that, but you can just stick to you can just stick to the eyes. So basically, it's just two spheres. That's basically that's basically the eyes. You want to kind of make them in the same general general shape. So since we're going to do, we'll just draw a bunch of circles. And that's how we'll, that's how we'll practice our, our eyes. Okay, so. So for this first eye, these first eyes, if we want him to make a layer above, if we want him to be looking this way, then basically what we need to do is first of all you want to make the you know the skin like encasing our eye. So our eye is like um, there's the sphere where our eye is, and then you know these openings like this this traditional eye. This is all the skin, this is all the skin. Obviously, you know that, you have eyes. I'm gonna sneeze. But, so, if that's like this, if the eye turns, and instead of being here, if the eye was here, if the eye was here, then you would only be seeing that much of it. And this would all be, you know, the skin. If the eye was open wider, then you know that that crease would be would be wider. So if we want to make him looking this way, let's say the crease is about here. So So hopefully that makes sense. So essentially, all you want to do is just think of the eyes as spheres. So so it's always going to be encased in So it's going to be encased. If it's going to be completely off to, let's see if we're going to do it the other way. And you want his eyes open really wide. And then you just do the same thing for the other side. You just match it. And it'll take some time, but if you but you can use these eyes for any character. And it's just a great way to kind of practice with your eyes. Um, you can practice different uh, so let's say, you know, you want to make him like moody, you can stretch out the spheres, 
this way and then you can make the bottom one you know some somewhat thin almost like his his eyes are open in, in slits and you just want to make sure you don't put the eyeballs too far apart I'm going to try to match match the, the shape as much as possible so you don't have one big one big eye and one one that's not um, you can always vary vary it and this is the eyelid this isn't the eyebrow the eyebrow would would be the eyebrow would be here that also is is helpful with showing you know the different emotions but the reason why I do snails is because you do the you do the round thing like this and then you can you know you can easily just give them like an expression you know one eye is totally open one eye is completely f facing facing you so you don't always have to show this back part of the eyelid if the eye is facing directly forward and you don't really you don't need to and actually it would be smarter since this eyelid is down you can make you can make that part lower and make that this part higher And this is obviously a little, the, the, the snail wouldn't have this. This is more for like, you know, a different, a different kind of, kind of creature that would have, uh, you know, has a, has a full head kind of thing. You know. Can even make it lower. Make it make that eyebrow very low. Have one low and then one really high. But really, just think of it as like, don't get too crazy, trying to trying to make really. Um, what's the word like don't make the eyes too complicated just think of it as if you're gonna draw a circle you know it doesn't matter what what your character is it can be let's see what's something that's kind of involved make like a kind of like a uh, alligator type character here so this is another this is another thing I do when I'm when I'm making a circle you know you see a lot of artists like do this for me I have to think about how I where I want the eyes to go so this middle curve right here is always the bottom part of the eyes the eyes for me are always going to be something like that so when I do this I make that's how I kind of make the the eye sockets and then for you know the center I always put where the nose is but this all this space right here is the eye socket so if we're gonna do our circles like we've been doing We'll just do them kind of equidistant here and kind of equal distance from the from the bottom part um, doesn't always have to be obviously they can there's different expressions but for the most part you don't want them to be too you don't want them to be too separate uh, separate spaces on the face because that, that wouldn't work it'll just look funny so we'll you know we'll, we'll make him like my character Horace
Okay, so Horus kind of has a round head. And he has pudgy cheeks. So I want to make sure I give him some pudgy cheeks. These little ears that go back. So basically, these are the circles. They're the same, same snorkels, circles, snorkels. I don't know what a snorkel is. Same circles that we'd make like with the, with the snail eyes. And if I'm going to make his eyes really bright or, or really uh, open really wide, then I do the thick eyelash line up here. And these aren't really Horace's eyes. Horace, Horace has big eyes. His eyes are more like this, and then they have their, their yellow, really bright, big yellow eyes. So I would do something like that. I don't always do the I don't always do the lower half, but I can if I need to. You know, like if I want to make if I want to give him like really fat cheeks, then I I just do that. But I will put a line underneath. Give him his little you know, uh the little the little you know, just to show that it's a it's an eyelid. So let's uh, so if we're gonna do the arc, so we'll do the 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 center line of the face, and we'll do this arc again. And let's say we wanna. Basically, what I do with this line is that's the line that I'm using for to kind of give me a a template of of where I want the eyes to be. So this whole space is all eyes. For this center line, this X is where I always put whatever the nose is. If it's a bird, you have something like this. Something like that for a bird. Um, if I was going to make another character, we'll try to do it the same exact way. At the center line, we have that arc. I, I always use that, that center line X for where I want the nose to be. And really, they have this center line here, but this is, let's say if there was two on the sides, that would make up, you know, if this was a 3D model, this piece right here is, that's what this piece is. The nose would be here, if that makes any sense. So it's sort of like a, you know, like a 3D, That's how I think of it in my head. I don't always I don't always draw that because that would just be too confusing. Um, let's see if I was making a cats usually have noses like that. You know, so I just basically use that that center line as an X, but I'm not going to get into a tutorial about noses and jaws and stuff like that because this is supposed to be eyes. So let's say this is this is the bird. And it's important to make the back of the head too. Because all of this is you can't really have like you don't want to make your you don't want to make your eye flat you know what I mean like like you don't want to 
just draw your eye like this, you have to also draw what's behind it. You know, it's really important to, to, to maintain that space. So this is the, the beak in like kind of like 3D. And this is the top of those of those eyebrows. And almost, I almost do the same thing and just make this line so that this is the this is the center line and I make these lines above it. Kind of equal distance. Almost like if I was going to make this line here and then I was going to make another one exactly like that. That's what these two marks are. And I just come up from the back. Sounds weird. And I just do the same thing on this one. You can do it that way. And, I, and the reason why I do it that way is because the eyes are, are turned a little bit. You know, like, like we said before, that's why that's why you have this this here. That's why it's not just a complete circle. It is, but this is where, you know, that goes. little eyelids and for you know a creature like this whatever this is supposed to be the nose is a bit wider but same thing I'm going to use this line to kind of give me a template of where I want the eyes to go and since it's a since it's like a, a cat, I'm gonna use more of an angular more of an angular eye. I don't even know if that looks good, we'll see. So I just put the eye on more of an more of an angle. Instead of going like this and going like this, I just kind of cut that in half and just make like the bottom half of it. Let me erase some of this so it's a little clearer what's going on. cat must see another cat because she's sniffing like crazy so they have those large muscles in the back of there bears have that too they have they have bigger bigger muscles here also you can see this is looks really really messed up and what I did was uh, first of all, I should have I should have made this eye come up a little bit more to match this. And they have the big muscles here. Kind of, <clears throat> kind of. He needs work, but let me see if I can fix this eye. Let me get rid of some of this noise. So the way I'm going to fix this is sometimes I have to go back and do the center line again. I have to do the whole center line.
and um, let's do this. Give him some space underneath his mouth. So we'll do the whole center line. Kind of looks like a bear, but that's okay. And basically what I want to do is follow this line for the nose. And just match everything like I have on the other side. So this point, so there has to be a point on the other side. So you just want everything to match. This, even though it's going around, that looks a little bit better. I think I was doing something to draw the, draw the eye the wrong way. We'll give him his little uh, eyebrows too. Make him looking up. I don't know what kind of ears I want him to have. But anyway. Alright, so let's draw some eyes. So when I'm drawing a character, what's really important is this plane right here. Let's say, you know, this is the character and this is the and that's the nose. So what I want to do is keep the eyes. So I want to keep the eyes on this plane. So So if you want to keep the eyes here, then you can give them some eyelids. But all this space is important for the eyes. All this space around around the eyes if you're doing a let's say you want to do a um, what is it called profile I think it's the profile I use for like, I'm going to draw like a, you know, baby dinosaur or something. So it's the same thing, that same, the same section is, but you want to do, but since it's, since it's profile, you want to do half that. So you're going to make, it curves up a little bit, you want to do half that. So. If the face was straight, it would be like this. Then it would have the line down the middle, make the nose and stuff, things like that. And you can make the eyes here. So here you just do like that. And you can make the pupil come when I'm doing sideways or any way, any way that the eyes are looking, like so let's say I'm drawing some eyes and it's looking this way.
can do it like that. I don't usually, you know, I, I actually don't usually do it that way. I'm there. There's two schools of thought that I've come across, and one is one is uh, like if you're doing an eye this way, you make the pupil kind of coming off the end like that, which works in some cases. But actually, let's let's do it the right way. Let's see, it's. So you can do it that way, and that, that actually looks pretty good. Or what I usually do is I'll make the eye like that, and then I'll put the pupil back here. It's a little bit more of a 3D look versus versus more of the cartoony look. So that's the only that's the only difference there. But it's also important uh, to like let's say and I, I when I do the eyes like this it's it's still the same the same arc. I just don't always draw it. But that same arc is, is there. So I do a little line here because I want everything to stay within this, within these, these, these triangles. So I make that the bottom part of the eye, and then I curve around this inner, this inner brow. I always go parallel to that, and then I just, you know, you just make a, a semicircle. make eyebrows up here and that's a different reaction than or a different expression than if you would make them like this and you can also make them like that or you can just keep that like it is and then you can just do a thick line in the middle and make them closed okay so Another really great way to practice eyes is to draw, well for me, I, I really like to draw snails, but sorry about my fingers too, they're a little, I need to get a, a manicure. Uh, I don't usually get manicures, but I probably need one now. But anyway, the reason why I draw snails is because other than the, sh the, other than the shell, uh, the, the shell is pretty complicated, but the eyes are a great way to practice eyes. Because you can just stick to two round spheres. And that this would be like the eyeball. So if we want the eyes looking this way, then, then basically, you know, if there's a, if there's skin covering this the surface of this, then it, it would be you have to think about where the op where the opening would be so or not the opening but where the crease would be so you know you don't want it to be the whole eye if he's looking unless he's looking straight towards you you know you don't really want it to be the whole eye so let's say the crease is here and then you know just like we have the bottom part of the eye would be like that. We actually I can make it I can make it a little wider.
So just kind of think of it as like a as like a 3D like a 3D figure. It seems complicated, but it's really not that not that complicated. And also, see this crease is a little bit too far over. You just kind of want them to match. You know, you really want eyes to to match as much as possible. Okay, so And so we wanted to make him looking out this way, so the eyes are going to be at the front of the sphere, just like ours would be. But you you don't want to have them you don't want to have them too far. You don't want to have them too far apart. Eyes are always going to if you have two eyes like this, if they're staring straight at you, they're not going to be in the middle. They're actually going to be slightly cross-eyed. It's not really cross-eyed, but... They're going to be in like that. There you go. And this is a great way to practice. Expressions. Another thing, you always want to make sure that the eyes are even as well. So, so you want this space to be the same. Because if it's not the same, then it won't, it won't look right. See, what else do I usually do with eyes? So let's say So if I want to make Sometimes you can you can play around with that that shape but you still want you still want your eyes to be pretty much the same. Make his little eyelid. And another trick that you can do is you can do that. Oh, I gotta I have to delete a layer. Another trick you can do is just make a layer underneath. And if that way, if you mess up the eye, like I guess that doesn't look too bad. But if you want to try out the different placements of the eyes, that's pretty helpful. Like for this, I would say that the eyes are a little too f far apart. So I would bring them closer like that.
And another thing that I always talk about is, so I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw a, let's say I want to draw a character, bird type character, so I've been drawing a lot of birds lately. And it's the same thing since he's sort of looking this way this is you know I just offset that that pattern and off the eyebrows make the back of the head So what happens, uh, what happens that I see a lot of people do is they don't, they don't include the height, the height in this, in this second eyebrow. Like they'll draw it and then they'll draw the other one down further, but you have to really make sure that you, that you draw this eyebrow up to match, to match this one. I should actually go back to some of my older drawings and just and just fix them. That might be that might be useful. So one of the things that's uh, important is the the space of the eyes. So to me, what what I find looks really good. I'll just go with a regular oval shaped eye here. Is match if this one is if this one is close to this side of the beak, then the other one you want to also be really close to the beak. So you want them to match. Another thing is I can see that these are they're not really that that matched up. This eye is a little high, so I'm just gonna make it a little smaller. And these are very, these are very cartoony, but I still don't, I still don't like them. I feel like they're just too close, and not really my, not, re not really my style. But it works. They're cartoony. But so how I would do it is I would use, say this is his beak right here. I would use this line to sort of make a bridge because you want that space between the eyes and then I would take this and almost go the same almost along that same line and then I would come off with a curve here and then follow this go parallel to that back down and I would just use this bottom line so I would do the same thing here come off make a little bit of a curve it's a little high. And then come down like so. And I think that looks a lot better. You could even do a little bit more of a little bit more of a curve there. If he's gonna be looking in a certain direction. You can do a little bit more globe type eye type eyes like that give them some perfect perfect circles here and we'll just color them in black for now and maybe if his pupils are real big you can just draw in the I start with the pupils because that's this, that's the uh, the main s space of where I want to. That the, the pupil indicates the direct center. So if I'm going to make space around, if I'm going to make the color, if I'm going to make a line around it, then I use the 
I use the pu the pupil. Give him a little bit of a expression like that. Sometimes I draw the I draw the beak very short. Sometimes I just have to stretch it out. It looks a little bit better. And then I immediately renege on what I what I said. But that's the beauty of it. You, you just have to really um, play around with it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Give me a like and a subscribe. And as always, keep drawing. And I'll see you in the next video. You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. You didn't come here tonight to, to, to eat french fries. You didn't come here tonight to put whipped cream on pies. You came here tonight to draw some eyes. So let's draw some eyes. And just in case you want to see what my shirt is. Hey guys, so eyes are the most important part of your character design. If you wanna if you wanna have people really fall in love with your characters and connect with your characters, you have to know how to draw eyes. Especially if you do like cartoony eyes, that's my world. So you're in the right place. All right, so sit back, relax, doodle along, take some of these tips and tricks and add them to your characters. That's enough talking. Let's get into it. This is so weird. It feels really weird. The eyes are the most important part of your character design. If you want people to connect with your work and really fall in love with your characters, you gotta draw eyes the, the eyes have to be this is terrible this is terrible